Hello and uh, welcome back everyone to uh, another one of my uh, traditional watch shaving videos. This is uh, Sean. Um, great to have you back. Uh, always a pleasure to uh, see you. Today I'm going to be uh, featuring a cream from uh, shaving cream from uh, Tailwall Bond Street that uh, I've uh, used previously. I uh, bought the uh, tub a second time because uh, the scent of it is just absolutely amazing. And uh, I would like to uh, share the experience with you uh, today. It is this. Taylor Gold Bond Street's Peppermint uh, Shaving Cream. Wow. It's always uh, such a treat to uh, shave with peppermint. It feels as if it's uh, you're shaving right in the uh, middle of the uh, Christmas season. And uh, you can enjoy the uh, festive season, season uh, even uh, during... Uh, the summer, like uh, we are right now, and uh, to uh, complement today's shave, I'll try. I'm trying to stick with the uh, minty uh, uh, tone of the uh, video. Uh, Pro Rasso uh, has a uh, eucalyptus and menthol inside, so I'll be using this, and uh, for the post shave. Is the uh, cooking uh, peppermint and tea tree uh, pre-shave oil? Uh, excuse me, the uh, aftershave. It's from a uh, company called uh, Home and Body. Uh, I think they're based out of uh, California. And uh, yep, yeah, I've used this uh, before on my face, and uh, yep, yeah, gives uh, quite a finish. So there's that, and uh, the brush I'll be using today. It's my uh, Paragon Synthetic, yeah, made in uh, British Columbia, Canada. And the, today's razor will be the uh, fairly aggressive Open Comb Parker 26. And I've loaded uh, a Tiger blade inside of this. Yeah, so what I uh, understand is that tiger blades are supposed to be uh, fairly aggressive, but um, we shall see. I've never uh, used uh, tiger blades myself, so uh, during this video, this will be the uh, first time I'll experience that. And I've got my uh, trusty uh, ceramic shaving bowl to mix everything up in. Okay, so um, I know you're looking forward to... Uh, experience experiencing the uh, shave so let's get right into it well it's just the smell of this is so refreshing yeah I think uh, these are one of the uh, shaving creams I'll buy over and over again Oh gosh, yes. I think uh, this uh, tub will last me a couple of years at least. I won't uh, shave with this very often, however, I do have many other creams in my collection that I use, so. There we go. Let's go ahead and. Uh, Mix this up. Smells like Christmas in my washroom. <laughs> so how's everybody doing today? It's, um, Staying safe, staying well, I hope. They all 
we'll just add a little more water just for the right uh, consistency. Typically, I don't um, shave. Uh, well, typically, typically, I don't to use uh, synthetic brushes with uh, shaving creams. I tend to use uh, synthetics more with soaps. However, um, there's no right or wrong way of uh, creating your lather. It's uh, per all personal preference. There, I think we go. I think that's one muddy lather. Okay, and I'll go ahead and uh, rinse my face and uh, apply the uh, pre-shave uh, lotion. Warm, warm water to open the pores. Take this. Just take a small dab. Rub it all over my face in a circular motion. Mmm, smells minty, just like the cream. <laughs> Hmm. I think I'll just add a little bit of water here for the right amount of Fitness. Could use a little bit more. Yes. Oh gosh. My face smells like a candy store. <laughs> For the first pass because that's the most important. I have to shave with the grain. Okay so I'm ready to rock and roll and let's get started.
Yes. Open comb razors are generally considered to be more aggressive than closed combs. Uh, So you always have to make sure when you're using an open comb razor, just go very gently with the skin. I mean, this uh, Parker 26, it's not uh, like the Mula R41, but uh, still always have to be careful. Yeah, I honestly believe that peppermint is one of the uh, best scents that you can buy for uh, shaving creams. It's just uh, so refreshing. It's waking me up. Yeah, I've also uh, tried uh, the peppermint shaving cream from uh, The Art of Shaving. It, it uh, smelled pretty good as well. However, um, nothing uh, beats this uh, one from Tops. Oh yes, my uh, cheeks are starting to uh, smell like candy canes. <laughs> Now, along with the other uh, shaving creams, uh, this peppermint is uh, paraben-free and vegetable-based. Which uh, is uh, suitable, suitable for vegans. It's only wish um, they uh, introduced a uh, peppermint 
aftershave. Yeah, I wish Taylor Bull Bond Street actually uh, introduced a uh, in ash aftershave for this particular cream. It would be a big seller. I know I would buy one. All right, first pass done. I'll go ahead and uh, rinse off and lather up again for the second pass. All right. Here we go. Time for the second pass. Going cross grain. So far, the initial impression I'm getting from these uh, tiger blades, yeah, they do seem to be rather soft. However, I'd have to use them at least a few times, and with the some of the uh, different other razors uh, that I have, to make a uh, conservative assessment but it uh, seems to be doing the job alright so that's my main concern So for those of you who uh, haven't uh, tried this style of shaving before, if you're just, just using uh, regular um, cartridge pharmacy razors with that uh, foam gel, yeah, it's time to uh, jump on board. For those of you who are willing, because uh, yeah. A lot of uh, creams and uh, soaps out there, many varieties of uh, scents. Quite frankly, I don't think um, I'd be able to try every single one of them on the market in, in a lifetime.
you know, I might uh, try out other, other uh, soaps that are vegan. Yeah, I know that uh, Soap Commander, uh, based in the States, um, they have uh, vegan soaps. I might uh, just uh, purchase a couple of them, even though no, I, I would have to pay for interna international shipping since I'm in Canada. They're being shipped from the U.S. Going. It's going nice and easy with the strokes. Always remember to just take your time when you shave. It's not a race. At least, uh, it shouldn't have to be. Well, let's say if you, you're in the military and uh, your drill instructor only gives you like five minutes to go shave, then okay, that's different, but... Mm -hmm. I believe shaving um, must be an experience that you savor that uh, you can just uh, relax and uh, enjoy doing. Okay. Okay. All right, here we go, last pass. Third pass, gonna go against the grain. I'll just get the last bit of it out of my bowl and brush. Because I mean, why waste it? It's just amazing cream and just thick, rich lather. Yeah, when you prepare this right, yeah, it does such wonders for the skin. All right, here we go. Third and final pass against the grain. Isn't 
nice and neat. Always nice and neat against the grain, against the skin. Yeah, so as I've mentioned in uh, one of my other videos where I featured a Tillerville Bond Street cream. Uh, Tillerville Bond Street was founded in the year 1854 by uh, Jeremiah Taylor in London, England. So, over 150 years they've been in business. family owned and operated and if I ever decide to travel back to London myself I'd love to uh, just browse through their store oh I could probably spend hours inside there Yeah, I love uh, Tillerville Bond Street creams because they're so easy to lather. Provide ultimate slickness. I think uh, some of their uh, creams are among the best selling on the market. Yeah, I might even uh, purch purchase their uh, grapefruit cream again I've uh, used that before yeah amazing scent they should also uh, come up with an aftershave for the grapefruit scent as well I don't know why but they must that's my opinion a lot of shavers uh, really enjoy the grapefruit uh, shaving cream It's not, it smells like grapefruit, but the scent is not overpowering. There we go.
Okay, just go up through. All right, there we go. Shaving is done. I'm just gonna rinse off and I'll be back with the uh, post shave. we go yeah skin is baby smooth okay now it's time to apply this this uh, peppermint and tea tree aftershave Only they can make it easier to uh, get these open. Mm. You know what? It's actually proving to be too difficult, so. I have a backup plan. I'll use this instead. Every Man Jack face lotion, signature mint, can also work that as an uh, aftershave lotion. Yeah, there we go. All right. So that is the shave. I'm uh, very impressed with the uh, shaving cream. It's uh, the kind I'll keep uh, buying over and over again. It's the uh, peppermint from Taylorville Bond Street. Great stuff, I highly recommend you buy it. Um, so, to shave, I use the uh, Parker 26 open comb razor. And I loaded that with a, a fresh tiger blade. And for the pre-shave, I used Purasso. Uh, eucalypt, Purasa Green with Eucalyptus and menthol, menthol. And I know things didn't go quite according to plan, but um, I intended to use this. But it was too oh, difficult for me to open, so I use this instead. <laughs> and it's still doing uh, wonders for my uh, face. Yep, it's Everyman Jack face lotion. And I've got my ceramic bowl and my uh, Paragon Synthetic Shaving Brush. Okay, so um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I would just like to conclude by saying uh, peace, much love, and namaste. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Take care.